for shoulder joint denervation we need to know the innervation of shoulder joint so there is few nerves uh, but three important nerves normally is our target for radio frequency or cryoablation procedure so one important nerve is your articular branch which is coming from the suprascapular nerve the suprascapular nerves comes through this suprascapular notch then it supplies the supraspinatus muscle then it comes through this group this notch the spinoglenoid notch gives off the branches to the infraspinatus and then articular branches goes to supply the glenohumeral joint along this margin of the posterior margin of the glenoid so this is one very important target earlier the suprascapular nerve was denervated here at the suprascapular notch but for that the problem was the weakness of the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus muscles second important target is our articular branch of axillary nerve so for that normally we need to know that this axillary nerve comes through this quadrangular space and then gives off the muscular branches and at the lateral margin it goes to supply the shoulder joint so if we target the axillary nerve here then we can avoid the muscular weakness so here normally we follow the posterior humeral circumflex artery which accompanies the axillary nerve but we gradually go from medial side to the lateral side when the humerus is not seen then we try to target at the posterior lateral margin of this humerus then anteriorly another important nerve which is your articular branches which comes uh, from anteriorly articular branches from lateral pectoral nerve so it comes through the coracoid anterior to the coracoid so this anterior to the coracoid this is another important target for the denervation here in this plane the other important arteries and nerves are little away and placement of this needle is superficial and very safe so now we will be doing this procedures for a few indications most important indication being the advanced osteoarthritis of the glenohumeral joint and in certain cases of the frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis so you have to remember that this denervation of the glenohumeral joint is exclusively for the pain coming from the glenohumeral joint it is of no use if there are other causes of the shoulder joint pain like uh, rotator cuff tendinopathies bicipital tendinopathies acromioclavicular joint pain so for these conditions these denervation procedures are not applicable the most important indication being the advanced osteoarthritis of the glenohumeral joint so here we'll be doing the procedure in hybrid technique we'll be localizing the uh, target with the ultrasound and then we'll be confirming the position by fluoroscopy also so for the suprascapular nerve the articular branch so we normally focus we hold the probe like this and we search for the spinoglenoid notch so patient should be lying prone and the probe will be held like this so this is important so this is our head of the humerus this is the articular cartilage this is the glenoid and this is the spinoglenoid notch and if we search for the pulsations we'll be getting the pulsation here and just beside that will be the articular branch of this suprascapular nerve so the patient is placed from so this is the cr picture this is the glenoid this is the spinoglenoid notch so humerus articular cartilage this is glenoid this is the spinoglenoid notch and you can see the nice pulses in here so after the local infiltration so we start introducing the rf cannula so this is the rf cannula initially the angle is not right so it was going more superficial so we are increasing the angle to come this is our target spinoglenoid notch this is our target 
you can see the nice pulsation. And just beside that pulsation, the hypericle EKDA is your neural structures. So pulsation is seen, this is our target. So now we are close to target. Okay, now we are close to target. We are close, we are at the target now. So you're touching the bone here, and then you'll be confirming by fear. You can see this is the spinal glenoid notch, this is the glenoid. So we are just right at our target. And after that, we have to have the stimulation, sensory stimulation. Patient should feel the anesthesia along the posterior aspect of the shoulder joint. And then we inject local anesthetic and we do the thermal heat listening. The tip temperature remains 60 degrees and surrounded structures will be up to 80 degrees. See, finally, we are again confirming the positions. And after completion of the procedure, we inject a little bit of steroid injections. That is mandatory to prevent the deafferences in pain. So now the next target is your the articular branch of the axillary nerve. So for that, we first search for the axillary. Uh, nerve accompanying the posterior humeral circumflex artery at the quadrangular space and then we take the probe from medial to lateral till we see that the shaft of the humerus is vanishing as soon as it is vanishing we are coming back and your needle should be there you see so we are just from medial to lateral here so this will be our picture so we are this is the quadrangular space. You can see the nice arterial pulses, and just above that is your nerve, just proximal to that. And we are holding the probe from medial to lateral so that this sept of the humerus is vanishing. See here the sept of the humerus. You see here. So here you can see the sept of the humerus. And then as we are moving it laterally, this beautiful sept of the humerus will be vanishing. But still, the arterial pulses will be there. So there, the axillary nerve will not be having, has already given the uh, muscular branches. It's only the articular branches, which is the terminal branch of the axillary nerve. So probe will be like this. And after infiltration of the local anesthetic, so this is our target here. Here, the arterial pulsation is not very nicely seen. So this is our target at the junction, radiologically also at the junction of the sept and the head of the humerus. And then this is very nice position, excellent positions. It should be just the lateral aspect at the, at the head and the sept junction. And then again, after the sensory stimulation, motor stimulation, we go for the listening. So tip temperature 60 degree for two and a half minute. And after completion of the procedure, again, we have to inject a little bit of steroid to prevent deafferences in pain. So this is your, the ablation of Articular branch of axillary nerve. So that is the completion of the procedure. Injection of little bit of deposteroid, and this is your articular branch of the lateral pectoral. So here again, the probe will be like this, and. Coracoid process is our target. Coracoid process is very superficial and very easily found. So this is coracoid process. This is your subscapularis muscle. 
this is coracoid process this is our target so needle will be resting on there and will be confirming with logically so needle are a probe will be resting here over coracoid And we are checking radiologically. So we want to bring it a little bit at the center. So we are just, you know, the repositioning the needle under the ultrasound, and then again checking by the CM. So now the position is perfect. So at this position again, we shall go for the stimulation sensory stimulation motor stimulation and then finally we'll be doing the third lesion from anterior aspect of the solar chart so that completes the denervation procedure the same thing can be done with the cryoablation procedures as well thank you very much